Over the top, seen that before, it's in the air, he's going! That'll be four. Three words, short, wide, four. Yep, yeah, it'll be an early lesson to Tim Bresden. You don't bowl wide to that. Very, very powerful in that area. Well, just a correction, the 12th man is Ian Bell. We did see Alistair Cook on the field during the break, but it's Ian Bell who's substitute fielding. There he is, up and over again. He will keep playing that shot. It goes for four. Well, it's exactly the shot that he played in the last over that brought about the injury to Ed Joyce. Likes to go up and over. And Tim Bresner has been wide. Whether it's uh, first day nerves, not sure. You'll whack him anywhere there. Look at this in the air. Does it go for six? I think it does all the way. It's a max. Well, it's a problem this for Tim Bresner because Andrew Strauss obviously sensing that he's bowling wide, has set the field offside. He's just whacked that through the offside. He's a stand and deliver shot, great shot. And to wonder whether Taranga was looking to bat through the innings as the anchorman. This is his first sign of aggression, really. That's where he's strong. We saw in the test match at Trent Bridge, loves to play fluently through the covers, through extra cover. By and large, England have bowled back of a length. I think that's OK for Steve Harmison with his extra pace, but the others may just want to pitch it up a touch more. Short ball whacked away. That's out of here. Second six. Fantastic shot. Short again, and David Lloyd said England's bowling has been short. Almost as if Tarango was waiting, sat there waiting on the back foot, gave it plenty. I think the big lad catches this. Where is it? He's got it, hasn't he? Over the top. Deep shot again. Is that six? Is it one bounce four? One bounce. Sweet as you like, wasn't it? in the slot, a bit of a loosener from Plunkett, nicely in the slot. As sweet as you like. Well, they're all going, 50 on the board. Just after five overs. Chip into the deep, more fielding changes for England. Fine leg comes inside the circle into a catching position, I would think. Got to come into a catching position. England have only got one catcher at this stage. They've only got one catcher. Sixes and sevens. <laughs> it was Kevin Peterson at square leg who noticed. Called a halt to proceedings as Plunkett was halfway through his run up. Oh, another cruncher. Look at this through the offside. <laughs> No ball, it's going to be a free hit, and it's gone for six. Add that lot up. <laughs> well, it went flat, didn't it? I thought for a moment it was going to be a catch to the man at deep square leg. It didn't really get more than 15, 20 feet off the ground, but it went all the way for six. It's a front foot no ball, and therefore a free hit as well. That's cheeky. shot isn't it fine leg up fine leg inside the circle because Paul Collingwood of no pace needs long on and long off yes called it inside edge first strike for England it's Paul Collingwood it's Taranga with a big expansive drive it's an inside edge, it's a dreaded inside edge as the ball nicks off into what leg stump, just disturbed leg stump, it leaves the off bail, Collingwood's got one, England have got the first. And now there's trouble, confusion in the running, confusion in the communication, a throw seemed to take 
forever to get there, but uh, England seemed confident. Well, it was Ian Bell with the throw. Jai Wardner thinks he's gone. Ian Bell realised that Jai Wardner was a long way down, so he took it easy. Ball taken in front of the stumps. It's difficult to tell from that angle with the sun. This will help. Jai Wardner's gone by a long way. And England have their second wicket. Well, it shouldn't be long now before we get that uh, verdict confirmed by the third umpire. Just look at the big screen. How it is. And Mahela Jai Wardner has to make his way back. He covered a lot of ground there, the captain. Well, it's in between the two fielders. It did look as though it was uh, stoppable. Got him. Got him. He put his left foot, his throw his right foot, his front foot well across those stumps. And Ian Gould had no hesitation that time. Jasuri is gone. Looking to find space on that leg side, but uh, he needed to use the bat. Slow balls and Yorkers, Collingwood swinging in. Would it have gone on to hit leg stump? No. That looks like a poor decision to me. Looks like he would have missed leg stump, and it's a crucial decision as well. The key man, Jai Surya, has gone. Collingwood has got him. Yeah! Slightly quick has got him. That's another wicket. So England fighting back here. First ball of the 11th over. Now Dalrymple has struck as well. And Sri Lanka, after that bright start, have just gone into a wicket-taking phase. Caught behind the quicker ball. The slider went on with the arm. Dilshan, big edge. Good catch, Garant Jones. Excellent catch. Dalrymple's first wicket for England in 2020 cricket. Sri Lanka, two experienced left-handers at the crease. Sangakara, fine sweep away for four. That was close, but it's going to be four. No time to breathe in these matches. That's out, that's well bowled. Yorker length from Paul Collingwood, his third wicket of the innings, three for 15, his figures now. Very, very good figures in the midst of this Sri Lankan innings. And Russell Arnold's aiming that big heave over long on, maybe slightly wider. That's found more space too, right between the two fielders. A couple of bounces over the boundary rope for four. That's out. Toe of the bat. Straight to Strauss. And so Paul Collins with one ball left in his allocation of four overs. Has four, four wickets. Four for 21 now. Well, everyone betting on the football. Who would score the first goal? Who would bet on Paul Collingwood having four wickets for England? In the space of four overs, Sangakara, the latest man, chips it to mid-wicket. Golden Arms got another one. Straight into the midriff of Andrew Strauss. Hit that nicely too. All the way, cleared the rope by a good ten yards or so. Donegal raises his arms. Terrific straight drive. Well, some may say that it's swiping 2020. That is not a swipe. It's a beautiful cricket shot. Straight down the ground with power and timing. Oh, what a lovely shot. 76 is four. Direct hit, but I'm sure that... Uh, Maharouf has made his crown, but has he made it at the other end? No, it's all happening, and I think he's been run out going for an overthrow. I think the ball's out. Just have a look at this. It's terrific fielding. England at times have been sloppy, but uh, every now and again you get that little piece of brilliance. I think this is one of them. How do they deal with this? Who's out? Let's look at the first one. That's the first one. Oh, he's out that end. Third up 
umpire's decision. Is it gone? The width. Peterson, good catch. Good catch because it's not easy with the sun going down and the floodlights full on. Went quite flat out to him at deep cover and he took a nice comfortable catch. The smasher comes to the party at last. He finds the gap. Four to Lassith Malinga to end the 19th over. 158 for eight. Should be out, mid-wicket underneath it. Simply taken by Ian Bell, the substitute fielder. Bouncer to finish. Will Liam Plunkett shy at the stumps? He does so. And Sri Lanka are all out on the last ball of their 20th over. 163 is the score. They're 17 shy of the target they set themselves at the start of this 20 overs. And England, after a difficult start, have come back well. Trescothic's away, first boundary for him. First time that Ferreira has banged the ball in and Trescothic quickly onto it. Beautiful timing from Trescothic. He really just put the bat there, used the pace and steered it wide at backward point. Well, there's a lot of young lads in this evening, young girls. Don't have to have a big wind up to hit a boundary. Just use the pace, use your timing. Watch Trescothic here. Width again and smashed by Trescothic. Short extra cover, got a hand to it, but he hit it so hard he won't prevent the boundary. Has he found the gap? He has. More good hitting from Andrew Strauss, this time through the offside. England 49 for none. Four more to Strauss. Strauss going great guns. Sri Lanka have the wicket, they needed it. Andrew Strauss was in a golden patch, but his innings has been cut short by Dilhara Fernando. England have lost their first wicket, 59 on the board. Full and straight, the way to go to Strauss. Tries to work it away on the leg side, but it hits the top of middle stump, he rehearses the shot, but it's gone. Fernando, the wicket taker, has the first wicket. England, 59 for one. Straight down the ground this time. That's got the length to go one bounce and over the boundary for four. Right between the long off and the long on, neither of whom could get round in time. Long on was closer. Nowhere near the pitch, it's his hands that get him through the shot. Straight to him. That is an extraordinary catch. Lassit Malinga down a deep square leg has brought off a magnificent catch because that ball was travelling fast. And you've got the, the night sky, you've got the lights, you've got the pace of the ball to judge, and he had to dive away to his right. That is a magnificent catch. But to be six all the way, significance of this wicket, Kevin Peterson, Sri Lanka, of mobbed Malinga. It's a brilliant catch, diving low to his right, staying inside the boundary. Sensational stuff from Sri Lanka. Good footwork from Trescothic, and that's a handy boundary too for England. Just gave himself some space. That's a very deft shot, he's used the pace there. It's going to be four. Jaya Surya trying to get the quicker one in, but he just left it too wide of Austin. 106 for two. Straight to him. Just little chip shot. Jaya Wardner was uh, handily placed right on the edge of the circle, just waiting for it. If you don't hit it properly, if you don't clear the man, that's exactly what happened. So Sri Lanka keeping their grip on this game at the moment. Well, they're very much still in this game. 
Good work from Sri Lanka's captain, right on the edge of the circle. As Paul Collingwood clips the slower bowler again, bring the slower into the attack, he clips it straight to. Leg side this time. It's a bit of a hike, but it's four. <laughs> that is out. That is gone. Dalrymple goes for one, trying uh, the reverse sweep. Jayasuri is now struck. So England are four down for 114. Derby times for England's new boys. Jimmy Dalrymple threatens to play a reverse sweep and then tries a little dab down to third man. That's good bowling, isn't it? Marcus Shothik, uh, Chuskothic has moved on to 50 from 47 with six fours. But he will know that he's had to work hard here. That's Ariel. It's going to go over the top of the fielder and over the boundary as well. So the weight did Chuskothic absolutely no harm. Gave him time to think about where that next ball might be going. He tried offside before a lot. Rare go on the leg side. He's cleared the ropes. Well, they're not happy, the Sri Lankans. Fernando ran in and then ran round it, and there's a lot of double teapots out there from all the fielders. Great timing from Triscothing, and that's what did Fernando. He ran in at first, and then he starts running round. He's nowhere near the boundary. But credit to Triscothic, brilliant timing. Big shot. One bounce, and it's just about a metre inside the boundary. Mid on inside the circle. Triscothic now takes charge of this innings. 23 off 13. Batsman batting at the end, oh so crucial, Sri Lanka left it to their bowlers. England have decided their main number one batsman in one day cricket, Marcus Triscothic's got to be there at the end. 23 needed of 13. I know you're big on big players for big matches. That's exactly what we're seeing here from Triscothic. Big again, down the ground, there's nobody there, Sri Lanka stand motionless. Another boundary, just look at this over. It's a cracker. 18 have gone. 14 runs from that over. 145 for four. What a shot that is. Garrett Jones always does it in one day cricket. A little work cameo right at the end of the innings. Like that. Can't ah! afford to get too far across for Scothic. Dives in, this will be close. Brilliant from Sangakara, absolutely brilliant. Triscothic lies down, and we're back to the third umpire. Well, there's another twist in this game. The big player, he's on his way back. We're going to wait for the third umpire, but everybody knows what that decision is. Triscothic is already walking out. Confirmation from Peter Hartley, third umpire. Yeah, he is a goner. Is there a twist in this game? The big fella, 72 from 57 deliveries. England, 152 for five. <laughs> it's up in the air. He's not going to go for six. It may be a catch. It could go for four. Sangakara has got it. Start the car. It's Sri Lanka. They have won this game and they're absolutely thrilled. He's marshaled his men. Very, very well, Jaya. Sky Sports Cricket.